My name is uh, Jose Iriarte, and I'm professor of uh, archaeology. And today I'm going to talk about the untold history of the Amazon forest. One of my major research interests is understanding the human journey of global colonization, because it represents the history of modern humanity and the development of uh, today's diversity of cultures around the globe. Uh, I'm particularly interested in uh, South America, and within South America, I'm very interested on the colonization of the Amazon. We evolve as modern humans uh, more than 20,000 years ago in, in Africa. We left Africa, our modern ancestors left Africa about 70,000 years ago, and they migrate into the Americas between 25 and 15,000 years ago. So South America represents the last continental stop of this human journey of colonization, is the last continental terra eh, incognita. And South America is fascinating because unlike North America that was largely covered by, by glaciers and a tundra-like uh, environment, South America received these first uh, migrants with an enormous diversity of, of environments. I, I captivated by this process because this South America represents an unprecedented uh, migration of, of modern human in such a diverse and empty landscapes. And this is a, what we call a hot period in human history because many processes converge. We have, the, we have the dispersion of humans into the last continent. We have climate change, significant climate change. We see the, the end of the last ice age. We see the uh, extinction of the large mammals of the ice age. And we see another turning point in human history that is the transition from hunter-gatherers to to farmers, that is the beginnings of plant domestication, the creation of plant by uh, humans. Our project uh, conducts research in the, in the Colombian Amazon, and here we are extremely fortunate because as, as archaeologists, we usually deal with, uh, with dirt, stone tools, bones, and, and plant remains. But here we have this incredible window to look at another aspect, another human dimension, and this is art. And they, we are completely amazed by the, how real are the, the paintings in the, in the Colombian Amazon, and also we are really amazed at, at the diversity of animals. Practically all the animals in the forest are represented in these paintings, from the fishes and turtles to deer, porcupines and jaguars, to birds like the harpy eagle and the king uh, belcher. And uh, what is very intriguing is that uh, some of these depictions appear to be uh, the now extinct ice age uh, fauna. So we are seeing uh, horses. We are also seeing what appears to be giant sloth. We are looking at camelids, possibly the ancestors of the llamas and the alpacas that we see today in the Andes. And we are also likely seeing a, a mastodon, this elephantoid that we see in the, in the picture. So uh, this is incredible because uh, we can have a, a glimpse of the relationship of humans with these uh, extinct animals but also we can uh, have clues about the environment and maybe how this uh, megafauna became extinct. Was it humans? Was it climate? Maybe it was a combination on, on both. And another interesting thing is that uh, this art may, may give us some, some hints about uh, the worldview of these early uh, artists. And this is where today's indigenous groups provide us with some, with some hints, with some clues about the past. Unlike us, uh, Amazonian indigenous Amazonian people do not distinguish be between human and um, uh, between nature and, and, and culture. Uh, all 
humans and not humans have, have a soul, have a spirit, have a mental uh, consciousness, and they communicate uh, with each other. And they communicate by means of rituals that are performed by shamans, medicine, medicine man, that by taking hallucinogenic drugs are able to enter the other world and negotiate with these non-humans. So maybe in these pictures that we are seeing where we see uh, humans interacting with animals, likely rituals, we are seeing this, the beginnings of the, this very particular Amazonian cosmovision, this very particular conception of human and nature that uh, Amazonian people um, have. And this is just, this is just the, the beginning. My other major research interest is uh, looking at the nature and scale of past human impact in, in the Amazon. In the, in the popular mind, in the popular uh, conscious imagination, and the Amazon is a pristine, untouched, primeval forest inhabited by small bands of, of hunter-gatherers that possibly adapt to the environment and have a minimal impact on it. And uh, was it like that? Or are the forests that we see today a completely manufactured la landscape that have a large human impact uh, on, on them? This is not a very easy question, as you can imagine, to, to tackle, to, to answer. The Amazon is huge, is the size of the continental US, and has a long human history, as we just have seen 13,000 years before the present. So what we do is we assemble large international interdisciplinary teams uh, that have uh, employing many techniques to answer this question. I'm, I'm just going to talk about two of, of these uh, techniques. One is uh, what we call um, lake uh, paleoecology. And this is the mud from, we study the mud from lake uh, bottoms that accumulate pollen and charcoal particles that are our environmental uh, archives. Uh, through them, we are able to reconstruct the vegetation and, and fire history of these past landscapes and comparing them with the cultural sequence that we reconstruct from the archeological sites, we are able to see the influence of humans in the Amazon. We are able to explore human environmental relationship. The other one is, is LIDAR is our lasers in the skies. Is this incredible technology that allow us to peek through uh, the forest. Is this technology that allow us to discover uh, archeological sites below the forest uh, canopy. And just to give you an idea, using uh, LIDAR and remote sensing, we have been able to document, for example, that a 2,000 kilometer stretch of the Southern Amazon was uh, completely inhabited by complex cultures that build sophisticated earth earthworks that may have reached up to five million people. And here you have one of these examples. This area was completely forested, and by applying LIDAR, we have these uh, circular uh, villages with these uh, roads that appear just below uh, the forest. I'm also very interested to see to see how people domesticated the Amazon. And one, of, uh, one other major turning point in Amazonian history happened 4,000 years ago when people started to create a, a human soils, artificial soils, extremely productive and fertile uh, artificial soils that we call them Amazonian dark earth. And by applying all this battery of techniques, we have been able to discover that through soil fertilization, Amazonian farmers planted a diversity of a diversity of, of, of crops, several of which are globally important, like maize, manioc, and, and sweet potato. Very importantly, they, um, they practice limited clearing of, of the forest for the cultivation. So we know from the pollen record that uh, these areas have 70% of arboreal cover in the, in the past. They practice agroforestry. They enrich the forest with edible plants, especially palms, uh, fruit trees, and, and nuts, like the Brazil nut, and they practice control fires. 
So this has important lessons for the, for the presence. Unlike what happened in Europe, that uh, during the Neolithic, the, the farmers cleared the forest that never recovered. This is the case of all the moors in the UK. Amazonian farmers cultivated the land without wrecking the forest. And this is very important for today because we know that by 2050, 50% 50 of the population is going to live on the tropics and there are many lessons to learn from this system, that this past system of the Amazon that provides evidence of a successful, sustainable uh, subsistence uh, strategies, but also highlight a very rich cultural and ecological heritage of these Amazonian indigenous populations that today are the real custodians of the forests. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy hearing about the untold human history of the Amazon.